This is a demo of FIDO enrollment and authentication using AADB to C. The screen on my browser is the sign up sign in page presented by the FIDO enrollment custom policy. I have already signed up to this test AADB to C directory and I will use my account to sign in using username and password. After signing in, the custom policy asks me to select which authenticator type I would like to use. I can either select Platform Authenticator or Cross-Platform Authenticator. Platform Authenticator means please use this device as Authenticator. In this case, my Windows 11 laptop, which comes with Windows Hello. Windows Hello will be used as a FIDO Authenticator in this case. After continuing, I'm prompted to register. At this point, WebAuthn API in the browser communicates with my machine and it asks it to create a new FIDO credential. My machine prompts me to authenticate in the same way in which I normally authenticate to Windows via my fingerprint. After the fingerprint will be validated, a new FIDO credential will be created and stored in my machine, and its signature will be returned to AADB2C, which in turn will call the FIDO Web API to store this signature in the API storage. AADB2C then issues a JUT token, which is now displayed on the screen by the JUT.ms test application. From now on, I can use my laptop to sign into AADB2C without a password. Let's try it. I will now call a different custom policy on AADB2C called FIDO sign up sign in. I am presented again with a sign up sign in screen, but now I can see a FIDO option to authenticate. When I select that option, I am prompted to specify my username. I will specify the same username with which I enrolled to FIDO. AADB2C calls the FIDO Web API to check if there are any FIDO credential signatures stored in the Web API storage for my account, and it uses what it finds in the next step. The next step is going to call my machine's authenticator using the browser's WebAuthn API to retrieve any matching credentials on my device with the signature that was retrieved from the Web API. My device asks me to authenticate again. After I successfully authenticated my device, the credential signature will get returned. AADB2C will call the FIDO Web API to update that credential signature count and timestamp, and it will issue a JUT token to the application which we will now see on the screen. The intermediate option confirmation steps uh, can of course be omitted and automated, but I prefer to leave them separate in this demo to explain all that happens behind the scenes. So I just demonstrated FIDO enrollment and passwordless authentication using the platform authenticator. But we can do more. The same account can be registered for multiple authenticators on different devices. I will now use my phone as a cross-platform authenticator to set up an additional device with which I can sign into AADB2C without a, pass uh, without a password. I need to refresh my browser to clean the previous session. On the right side of the screen, you can see my phone screen mirrored. I'll go again to the FIDO enrollment custom policy and I'll log in again with the same username and password. Then I'll, insert, I'll select the cross-platform authenticator option. After this step, Windows will prompt me to insert an external key, which I don't want to do because I want to set up my phone as an authenticator. I can select that option and use my phone camera to scan a QR code. My phone is prompting me to set up a passkey. It will ask me to authenticate. And you can't see my screen lock for security reasons. But after I authenticate, in the same way that I did to Windows Hello, a new FIDO credential will be created on my phone and its signature will be returned to the AD custom policy which in turn will call the FIDO Web API to store it, and it will issue the JUT token. Now, I can use my phone to sign into AADB2C. 
Let's try it. I'll go to the FIDO Synapse and in custom policy again. And I'll select again FIDO as a sign in option. I'll specify my username, the same username as before. The custom policy has now called the FIDO Web API to retrieve any FIDO credential signatures for this account. In this case, there will be two one for Windows Hello and one for my phone. The most recent one will be used. I will be prompted to sign into the authenticator, in this case, again, my phone. After authentication, my phone will search for a credential that matches the signature that was returned from the FIDO Web API and will return it. AADB to C will call the FIDO Web API to update the credential signature count and timestamp, and it will issue a JAP token. We can therefore enroll multiple devices as FIDO authenticators for the same account. <laughs> 